all they are the second mothers thank you okay uh, well, my dream alhamdulillah and it was really a wonderful journey you can say i'm becoming emotional yeah. as i am recalling my childhood my college days and when uh, uh, an important question uh, if i ask you that uh, if i say uh, how the kids are responding to the latest technology and this uh, mashallah they they are doing uh, i would like to ask you the teaching is in your family or you are the only one who came about in the teaching no alhamdulillah we my my all we are brought up in a close like nature though we live in the city of hyderabad but alhamdulillah at uh, this um, my uh, next generation is also opting for uh, teaching like uh, my i sincere uh, thanks to my husband and my family actually if uh, their uh, hus- husbands will not um, help us that I would like to repeat that it's a blessing that today I am able to uh, take her word to around the world people will see uh, what a teacher heart feels uh, for you as a student and as a people uh, like uh, after 25 years of service in, in IISR I get a simple uh, uh, who so and so so and so not even a word from the um, school or school authority so the, it doesn't matter we And this pandemic has taught us many ups and downs and how to adjust with it so dear friends my only suggestion is don't wait for somebody to appreciate you the world is not for appreciation so do whatever you want to satisfy yourself not for appreciation it will not come to a teaching higher senior secondary section there then when i joined here 1996 in saudi arabia i i time and spending more time on that so uh, this technology they can use in a better way if they are uh, uh, exposed to a better teacher and really we like if your child falls sick you prefer to go an specialist so i must say that uh, your child is your asset so it's uh, mm, my my suggestion to all the parents be careful when you are handing over your child but actually the teachers are the backbone of your new generation you can say uh, it's uh, it's an important character in your um, family and in your neighborhood and in your in any community assalamu alaikum you are with tbn news and with you myself suhaib muhyuddin tbn news chief bureau from riyadh saudi arabia and today i am here with one of the most important person in each and everyone's life this is none other than a teacher usually these days a uh, teacher's profession is which it is needed a lot to educate our children and they learn a lot from a teacher rather because the students is more interacting with the teacher and they stay with the teacher and learn a lot more than what the parents teach them hence i am here today with one of a experienced teacher who has been in the profession of teaching since more than 38 years here with us is mrs ifqat irfana a teacher by profession and we would hear a lot with her today assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam rahmatullahi wa barakatuh thank you very much for uh, interviewing me which is most ignored by the people of our community but actually the teachers are the backbone of your new generation you can say uh, it's uh, it's an important character in your um, family and in your neighborhood and in your co- in any community they are the second mothers thank you okay uh, i would like to ask you uh, how you came about in teaching and did you decide to be a teacher since the beginning or it 
how 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 you all went about can you because 38 years is a lot big period and were you prepared initially to be in this profession or it happened to you accidentally or whatever and uh, this 38 years did you serve only in Saudi Arabia or as well as uh, anywhere else uh, can you please uh, let me know it's my pleasure to be here I would like to um, give a brief uh, um, brief about my teaching journey from my childhood I used uh, to call myself as a teacher and it was my dream come true Alhamdulillah I am happy that uh, Allah Ta'ala has given me a chance to uh, fulfill my dream Alhamdulillah and it was really a wonderful journey you can say I'm becoming emotional yeah. as I am recalling my childhood my college days and when uh, and when I before I finished my graduation, I become a teacher, which was my dream. And really, I felt very happy when I started. I used to teach my brother and his friends also. So from there, I got this more interest of teaching the elder, uh, elder children. But uh, once I came here uh, after serving in uh, Kendra Vidyale as a PGT teacher, postgraduate trained teacher teaching higher senior secondary section there then when i joined here 1996 in saudi arabia iisr uh, international indian school riyadh alhamdulillah now have completed more than 25 years alhamdulillah it was nice journey you can say it's really wonderful and amazing i choose when i came here i uh, felt that younger generation uh, small kids are uh, more needed experienced teachers so that they can learn um, the values which we we learn in our uh, days uh, from our parents our uh, teachers and our masters uh, whoever we came in our lives they have given a wonderful gift of valuable suggestions advices which uh, i wanted to pass it on so i choose here to teach small kids of primary children so more than 20 years i spent with the uh, new generation so i felt uh, amazing they they really um, have the talent more than you nowadays it is uh, better than us they are uh, keep doing wonderful job like uh, they are um, better in uh, it then uh, we 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 have we have started because of this pandemic and all uh, the journey was different but alhamdulillah uh, allah has given us a chance to keep a leg in that uh, boat also uh, it journey i can say it's really one wonderful but uh, uh, hard time I had because I, I was unaware of all that uh, systems and all but uh, Alhamdulillah it's really good Alhamdulillah uh, as I can see the teacher is uh, quite emotional uh, because uh, uh, she will be going for good from Saudi Arabia to her homeland she, which is Hyderabad India so uh, and she has spent a lot time with the younger generation teaching them uh, uh, good ethics and the uh, values of uh, being uh, as a good student, as a good uh, son or a daughter. So I hope uh, several children will recall their memories with the teacher. She has been teaching for uh, nearly uh, uh, three decades or I can say four decades, uh, just two years uh, difference. And uh, at the same time, I would like to listen from her uh, an important question. Uh, if I ask you that, uh, if I say uh, how the kids are responding to the latest technology and this. Uh, Mashallah, how... they, they are doing wonderful thing like uh, the modern technology they are using in the best manner better than us and uh, alhamdulillah we also got a chance to use them which was not common in our time but alhamdulillah the new uh, like my colleagues or you can say the whole uh, teaching community the teachers or uh, whether they are teachers or professors they are uh, doing uh, really mashallah uh, the thing like tech new technology which is 
in their life like online classes which yeah. i felt like uh, it is more difficult than teaching in the classroom yeah. uh, we used to teach uh, their uh, values along with the teaching but nowadays uh, we have to um, make uh, new lessons new interactions otherwise the child will lose the interest in the studies mm. but really your uh, teachers are doing wonderful job really uh, i wish that everyone should uh, appreciate the teacher they are the really backbones and uh, if you want your child to be the best in their life uh, in uh, reality i mean reality because nowadays child is living in a dreamland where they are with the help uh, they are in the gadgets all the and spending more time on that so uh, this technology they can use in a better way if they are uh, uh, exposed to a better teacher and really we like if your child fall sick you prefer to go an specialist so i must say that uh, your child is your asset so it's uh, my my suggestion to all the parents be careful when you are handing over your child it should be in the safe hands it should be in the perfect hands so that they should be molded both ways yeah, like uh, moral value should be there uh, modern technology should be there and they should become a better citizen in their future life i wish all the students uh, i would like to ask you the teaching is in your family or you are the only one who came about in the teaching no alhamdulillah we my my all sisters i can say they worked as a teachers right. alhamdulillah my me my elder sister my cousin sisters all were in this field uh, alhamdulillah this was motivated by our father mashallah he was very good in explaining so from the childhood we have learned how when we are he he used to tell, say us that when you are traveling you should see that uh, uh, nature he make us live in the nature while traveling also he used to see a show us see the soil of that soil, that soil, soil is black that is red see that leaf is like this that tree is like this right. so Uh, we we are brought up in a close like nature okay. though we live in the city of hyderabad okay. but alhamdulillah uh, this um, my uh, next generation is also opting for uh, teaching like uh, my uh, da- sisters daughter in laws are all they are uh, going for uh, teaching wow, wow, as that, that's nice this is a new, noble profession i must say that most of the those who have that uh, skills to impart their knowledge whatever they have so that they can share okay those so really that's in the family and uh, it's a noble profession for sure and i believe that uh, you have justified your profession all these years uh, i know that uh, we are here to, uh, to speak to mrs ifat irfana because she is one of the teacher who teach in saudi arabia international indian school riyadh for more than 25 years and at this moment she is leaving this school and she w- she would like to s- uh, share a lot of feelings as well as uh, her a good experience with the staff and uh, i would like to ask a general question that uh, in this 25 years uh, as a team uh, whom you would like to give the most credit who have supported you in this 25 years to give your best in your schooling to give uh, to provide the best schooling to the teachers who did motivate you or uh, i can say uh, who uh, would you give a uh, best credit in all these years 25 years one of the best and uh, let on Um, so many would have inspired but to whom would you be preferring to give the most my sincere uh, thanks to my husband and my family actually if uh, their uh, hus- husbands will not um, help us the teachers will not be able to do their job well uh, and uh, next is my children if they will not i if by ignoring them for some time uh, maybe uh, 
I was not a hundred percent mother at that time, but uh, my parents used to say that if you look after your others' children for the good of the community, then um, uh, your ch children will be protected by uh, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. So uh, I think um, my family will come first, husband and my children. Those who the children also missed me when they needed maybe. So. I give my first and uh, most important part of my life, my better half, my husband, Muhammad Najmoti. Okay, it's so nice of you. And uh, at this moment, uh, I believe that it's an emotional moment. Uh, I would like to ask you a special question that uh, uh, would you be con uh, willing to continue as a teacher in your uh, further life if you go to India or uh, you would be uh, moving to look after your family or uh, still you will be motivating others? Um, right now, I'm uh, focusing on my um, children now, little time left with them, uh, maybe after a few uh, years, they will, like my daughter will get married, my children will settle in their lives then, so I want to spend a few years with them, and after that, if I, because teaching is a continuous process, uh, it, it will not stop one place. Um, so, and I have the habit of talking and uh, giving lectures and <laughs> to sharing my experiences with others. So, I, I would love to teach and um, maybe if I get the chance, I will continue, inshallah. Uh, I believe uh, all these years, uh, how did you feel when the school's alumni students uh, have returned back to you, returning as a doctor, as a teacher, as a pilot, as so many professions, I hope uh, they studied with you and they went on to become uh, some successful people in life. How many of you uh, you, rem uh, you remember of and how many of you do, did you think that you meet them or they come back to you and uh, thanked you? Uh, did you remember such students? Alhamdulillah, there are many, not few, but Alhamdulillah many, and uh, many of them are in Riyadh. They are uh, now on uh, manager's post. Uh, they often uh, come to me, and um, many in India also, they used to be in touch with uh, through WhatsApp or and other social media, uh, saying that we are doing this, we remember you. But I taught them in uh, primary section, but Alhamdulillah, they have grown up mashallah they are doing very well i wish them all the success in both the worlds okay i see that uh, the indian school they usually give the uh, yearly magazine and when you see those students who have been succeeded in their life what are your personal feelings uh, comes through alhamdulillah they they have uh, reached uh, that place and uh, they are fulfilling their uh, parents uh, dream and their uh, dreams through uh, coming through on um, them is like uh, uh, seeing a plant growing in front of us. Okay. So it's really, ha I feel very happy when there's somebody uh, come and say, uh, it, it was just a few days before when I went to for Umrah uh, in Mihat, um, a, a girl come, I was coming to my bus that um, she came running after me saying, teacher, teacher, teacher. Then I looked at back and uh, I, she was grown up girl now. She said, uh, teacher, if a teacher, you was uh, my class teacher when I was in second I, uh, then I required uh, inquired her uh, now you are in which class she was she said she was in seventh so it's really uh, I felt very happy that uh, a child to whom I used to teach in second standard they remember from my backside she she can recognize me as if a teacher and she came after me then parents also came so it's really good when we, that shows I get my reward <laughs> yeah, that's really a reward for you, for sure, I believe. And uh, I believe you will be inspiring more and many people and uh, uh, your students will uh, be seeing you all this in the television or in an interview. Uh, they will love to listen more about you. 
and uh, I hope uh, the technology has come a long way and you will be in touch with all of your students uh, in uh, WhatsApp or whatever new technology comes over to you. Uh, we wish you the best of luck uh, uh, for uh, the audience. Uh, I would like to say that uh, I was a student as well to Mrs. Ifa teacher as a young child. Uh, she happens to be my aunt as well. Uh, at the same time she was my teacher. Uh, she taught me a lot of things. Uh, we used to be uh, very close in the family. Even uh, when he was it's, doing uh, it's, engineering, I uh, used to um, uh, take his books and I used to go check whether he is studying or not. Uh, like in between I used to um, ask him, uh, tell me what is this uh, topic? What did you learn in this topic? Like this uh, cross checking was done. Alhamdulillah he has done very well and uh, now he is bringing a good name to our family also. So it's a blessing uh, all the way that uh, today I am happy to take, a inter take an interview the, for the lady who taught me a lot of things in my life. And uh, 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 for my success, for sure, I give credit to all my aunts, all my relations. And uh, back in years, for sure, uh, the aunts uh, or the relatives used to play a big role uh, as a teacher in home. So in home schooling was uh, quite uh, preferred at that time and for sure. And uh, I believe the she uh, is a good teacher and uh, as a person I give her uh, a 10 out of 10 uh, as a teacher because she has inspired me and uh, several uh, and again I would like to repeat that it's a blessing that today I am able to uh, take her word to around the world people will see uh, what a teacher heart feels uh, for you as a student and as a people uh, thanks for uh, your uh, precious time and uh, at the end of this uh, interview uh, what would we like to give a big message to those teachers who are now teaching and uh, who would like to choose uh, teaching as a profession? Mm, this is good point I think I must uh, uh, get, avail this chance so uh, this pandemic has taught us many ups and downs and how to adjust with it so dear friends my only suggestion is don't wait for somebody to appreciate you the world is not for appreciation so do whatever you want to satisfy yourself not for appreciation it will not like after 25 years of service in, in IISR, I get a simple uh, uh, who so and so, so and so, not even a word from the um, school or school authority. So the, it doesn't matter. We have to move on. But uh, one more uh, advice, like if, if you want, don't be like fallen leaf. Try to be scattered seeds which can uh, replant it. Uh, our youth, or whatever you can say, a new generation, they should be planted like a, a big tree, or one day they will be, inshallah. So don't leave your life like a fallen leaf. Please, whatever you are doing, do it for your satisfaction, not for anybody's appreciation. This world is not for appreciation at all. So that we have to accept it this time, I think. This is my and uh, I wish all my students whoever learned from me and uh, those has grown up, those who have left me and uh, those who I am going to uh, be in touch with them. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all the success of both the worlds. Inshallah, Allah Ta'ala may accept my sincere prayers for everyone and uh, I wish all my community, teaching community who teach all the professions, whether, whether they are doctor or engineer, but teacher is always there in any field, I must say. Yes. So I wish uh, sin my sincere gratitude and uh, thanks for all the community. We are doing wonderful job. Keep it up and don't lose your heart. Uh, you are uh, being blessed to have a new technology, doing it in a new, new way and new technology you are using. So it's really going to be a blessing for our children, those who are going to come, inshallah, and next generation will be a, uh, I can say, technological yeah. masterminds. Yes. <laughs> So, Inshallah. Uh, with this, uh, we would like to end an interview. A good message to all those teachers around that be yourself.
yourself and give the best out of you and don't wait for somebody to appreciate and this is a noble profession thank you for uh, staying with us all the teachers thanks a lot and mrs for teacher again i thank you to stay with tbn news and uh, giving a lot of uh, uh, good message to students the parents as well as the teachers uh, thanks again thanks for staying with tbn news uh, TBN News um, doing wonderful job and I'm really honored uh, because of your short uh, uh, sweet uh, interaction I can say a small interview but uh, I got a chance at least uh, to uh, share my um, my feelings I can say I, I'm not sharing any experience but what I felt uh, Alhamdulillah I shared with you and uh, I'm very much thankful to your channel also may Allah bless you and your channel may keep growing thank you thank you very much TV news